What is up, everyone? Welcome back to All Takes No Whiffs. I am Alex, and that is Christian. And for this video, we will be continuing our preview of every single team in the MLB for 2023. And for this video, we'll be moving on to the St. Louis Cardinals. And the St. Louis Cardinals are a super exciting team last year. They had the NL MVP, and um, they added another pretty good solid piece this offseason in Wilson Contreras. So this is just going to be, honestly, in my opinion, one of the best lineups in all of baseball this year. Yeah, and honestly, uh, St. Louis is sitting nice and comfortable in the NL Central. They were first in the division last year uh, with a 93-69 and 69 record. Nice. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're a solid team overall. And to be honest with you, I don't know how I feel about them as a whole, like compared to the league. But as far as the NL, uh, these, these guys are they're definitely going to be a competitive team led by, of course, Paul Goldschmidt, last year's MVP, and Nolan Arenado. And like Alex said, uh, they replaced Yadier Molina, their longtime catcher, and replaced him with some pop in Wilson Contreras. I like that move, to be honest. Uh, I don't like. Obviously, they're going to be losing on to, uh, losing out on some premier defense behind the plate, but you know, making it up with some pop, and I think that's going to that's going to help out for them. Uh, my thing is though, I'm I've got some questions about their pitching, specifically their starting pitching for right now, and. That that's that's kind of what I would like to see improved before I could uh, really see the Cardinals making something serious. Yeah, that pitching rotation, it's not one of the best. And St. Louis has been known for pitching. Um, they've had really good rotations uh, when they've gone on their World Series runs and had good playoff runs. But uh, Mike Mikolas is probably the ace of this staff. Uh, Jack mm -hmm. Flaherty is he hasn't been doing so good the past few years. I know he got hurt, I think, last year. And then this spring, he has not looked very good either. So. And Adam Wainwright, um, this will probably be his last season too. He's not the same Adam Wainwright as old, and he's also hurt and probably not going to be out there for uh, his first start. He may uh, miss a week or two. I know he's going to start the year on the IL, but um, this rotation definitely does need some work done to it. Bullpen's actually pretty good, so I'm not really worried about their bullpen. But um, a guy I'm super excited about, um, he's a really, really highly touted prospect, and he just got the call up the other day, uh, Jordan Walker. Um, this dude's going to be an absolute stud, to be honest. He can play first, he can play third, and he's also has transitioned to the outfield since we know who's at first and third, and he's not going to probably play there. So this dude's super athletic. Um, I can't wait to see him uh, out there on the field because he's been tearing it up this spring, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's a big guy and definitely provides some uh, big pop. And the thing I like about it is that's not going to be the only part of his game. I, I believe he's only 20. So that, that's going to, yeah, that's going to be exciting to see. Uh, he's got a long career ahead of him. Cannot wait for that. And I can't wait to see him uh, sharing the outfield with another young, exciting guy in Dylan Carlson. I feel like he's just been getting better and better. Really plus glove out there. And uh, he's just been improving with the bat, uh, has shown signs of having a really solid bat in the future. And them manning the outfield together, that's going to be exciting to see for sure. Oh, yeah, and I'm honestly really excited, excited about this uh, duo up the middle, Tommy Edmond and Brendan Donovan. I think both of them are super solid, and Donovan, we talked about him in our uh, second baseman uh, preview. This dude does not provide a lot of power, but this spring he's had a little more power, so I expect him to have a little more power this uh, season, and Tommy Edmond is just solid all around. This dude is probably going to steal, I would say, close to 40 bases this year. He had 32, I think, last year. Oh yeah, I could see it, and that's that's uh that's where he excels at in his game. Uh, the thing I like about Edmund is he's he's all about uh just doing what's best for the team. You could just see it in how he plays, and that's a player I definitely respect for sure. And yeah, I'm just excited to see. Honestly, I want to see how Paul Goldschmidt and Arenado run it back out of this MVP race because both of those guys, uh, yeah, they were the uh, two of the three MVP finalists mm -hmm. along with Manny Machado. So. Uh, maybe Arenado overtakes him this season. Maybe Paul Goldschmidt runs it back. But uh, I don't know if I see either of them winning uh, the MVP this year. Who knows, though? And as far as the Cardinals for this year, I'm going to predict just a couple more wins. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna think that, no. I think that they're going to hover around 95 wins. Uh, I just feel like... Uh, They've improved for sure. It's just they're kind of comfortable in that division right now. Maybe Milwaukee will give them a run for their money, but I don't know. I feel like they're just going to be cruising. Yeah, I honestly think that the Brewers may be uh, in this a little more than people think. Uh, their pitching is super solid. Uh, their hitting is going to be a lot better this year. I'm expecting a uh, bounce back from Christian Yelich, actually. So if he's back in 
healthy. Uh, well, he was healthy last year. He just didn't have a good year. But um, I expect him to be better. But I do expect him to probably be around the same wins. Um, honestly, I would probably say 95 at the most. I don't see them getting more than that. But uh, 90 to 95, and then I probably see them still get taken home this division. Yeah, I for sure still see them taking the NL Central. Uh, they, that's their division to lose at this point. Not that they're just that dominant of a team. It's just kind of a weak division, to be honest. But um, I'm excited to see what the Cardinals have to offer in 2023. And I'm also excited about the next team for the next video, uh, the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, they've been a solid team for the past few years, obviously making the 2020 World Series. But um, I just can't wait to see how they do in the AL East this year. But until then, peace. Peace.